This is where Saturday's standoff and officer involved shooting involving a 35 year old woman ended. But it's just a few blocks up from here that one Billings man first encountered the situation. Side mirrors, um, plastic bumpers, you know, stuff breaking. What is normally a heavily trafficked street was closed Saturday after a woman, now identified by family as Vileen Not Afraid, allegedly stole a vehicle at gunpoint in the 400 block of Western Sky Drive, ran from police, and ultimately had her car break down on 6th Avenue North. But before the car broke down, she led officers on a chase through downtown Billings and the Heights, hitting multiple vehicles on Main Street and Lake Elmo Drive. That's where Chris Ackerman was stopped at that intersection. It was just a complete shock to have um to just be sitting at a traffic light and have have somebody like trying to push their way through or successfully pushing their way through um, a group of stopped cars. Ackerman was surprised at what he'd seen but continued on his way home. That's when he turned onto 6th Avenue North, running right into the standoff. Maybe closer to 10 police officers um, with their lights on and all directions kind of surrounding that car. Ackerman eventually got home, but that standoff was far from over, as Not Afraid refused to exit the vehicle. Trying to work with her to get her out of the car um, peacefully. If not, SWAT will start taking actions to get her out of the car uh, by our means. According to Billings Police Lieutenant Matt Lenick on Saturday, SWAT team members deployed gas into the vehicle. That's when Not Afraid exited with her gun and was shot by a Yellowstone County Tactical Response Team deputy. She did have a firearm with her and it was in her hand pointed at officers when she exited. Not Afraid was taken to a local hospital where she later died, and the deputy who shot Not Afraid is on administrative leave. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.